Hello everyone, my name is Guy Cockrum and I am a level designer, and this is my detailed level walkthrough of my Skyrim quest, The Bootleg Bandits. Since this is a fairly lengthy video, I'm going to make cuts to skip the loading screens in order to cut down on some time. Also, I'd like to say that this is vanilla Skyrim, and this does not include any of the DLC items uh, or any of their uh, additional mods. So with that, let's get to it. Uh, the quest starts on Riverwood Bridge, um, right next to Riverwood, um, which is a town that the player finds himself in uh, on their way to Whiterun at the beginning of the game. So, as the player crosses the bridge, they'll um, meet my quest giver, who force greets them across the uh, uh, bridge. His name is Crum, and uh, I designed him to be a drug pusher who kind of gives you a free sample to kind of get you hooked on um, the product that he and the bandits are um, making. So you can kind of get a little bit um, of what Skuma Shine is, but he's very vague and doesn't uh, exactly sure tell you what it is. So we're just going to go ahead and try the Skuma Shine, and this starts my quest. So the first objective is to drink the Skuma Shine, which the player can find in their food section of their inventory. So we're going to try it, and the effects of Skuma Shine are unknown, um, but what I'm trying to set up here is that the player kind of blacks out and falls into some sort of um, hallucinatory dream. Um, and this is the area that they find themselves in, and there's really nothing in this area except for Gaia. And this is the introduction of one of the major players for my quest. So as the player talks to Gaia, uh, she gives him a little bit of exp um, exposition of who she is, uh, why she's here, and what she needs help with. And her problem is that um, she's set up in the sanctuary and she's wanted um, to be secluded from the rest of the world. However, Don Guillermo and his bandits have moved in and kind of taken over her sanctuary to grow the moon sugar plants that they need um, for their uh, special skuma shine. So the Spriggans have decided to fight back and she has asked the Dragonborn to help her uh, with this uh, with her plight. And so this is an introduction um, to her as a character, um, lets you know her backstory, and then it also sets up this first uh, choice that the player must, um, you know, choose to uh, choose. So um, neither of these options um, affect anything in the in the grand scheme of things, but it does allow the player to start thinking about who they're going to choose um, to side with in the end, and also kind of introduces that there will be a choice uh, eventually. So uh, I'm just going to tell her to get out of my head, um, but regardless of what I say, she's going to try to force me to help anyway. So she's going to take me to the bootleg bandits so I can see kind of firsthand um, the evilness of Don Guillermo and his gang. So she teleports me to the island, and again, it's kind of confusing where I end up, but at least I end up in an area um, with a familiar face. So we can go and talk to Crum again, and Crum informs us that um, we kind of washed up on the beach. So the time between um, you know drinking the skuma shine initially and now is kind of a blur, and completely unknown to us as the player, um, and it's just kind of left up to the player's imagination to fill in the gaps of what happened between Riverwood Bridge and now. So there's not much to do. Um, we can ask him who the bootleg bandits are, but again, he's going to give us a vague answer, um, and uh, our only objective is to go see um, the boss for now and figure out what needs to be done, um, and, um, you know, kind of the troubles that the bootleg bandits are having, which is the Spriggans attacking them and everything like that. That's 
So the scene that you just witnessed um, is a little bit of um, exposition, and it sets up two things for the player. The first is that this area that they find themselves in, the bootleg bandit uh, cove, is kind of over overrun with these brigands that are attacking the bandits um, and kind of disrupting their, their um, drug operation. And then the other thing is it starts the side quest that I have, which is Scarlet the Spriggan's Slayer. And the purpose of the side quest is to kind of give the players an option to um, get a weapon that will help them fight against the Spriggan's. And I set that up because the Spriggan's were very, very difficult during playtest, um, especially for low-level characters. So I created the side quest for for low-level characters so they can go ahead and um, complete the quest and fight the springs if they want. So this is Don Guillermo's house. Um, it kind of overlooks uh, his icy beach that looks out into kind of a uh, foggy nothingness for right now and um, and just has a really um, interesting scene um, with the landscape and um, you know the icy snow caps and everything. So we're going to go talk to Don Guillermo. Uh, Don, Don Guillermo is the second major player of this quest, and he is the leader of the Bootleg Bandits. And I set him up to be a character um, that just uh, needs the help with um, fighting um, Gaia, that he and his forces aren't strong enough to do it on his own, and they are dist um, disrupting his business. So... The player um, kind of finds out what he's having um, problems with, which is Gaia, and that he will pay you, the player, handsomely for, um, you know, uh, taking care of his problem. So this is um, kind of hearing the other character's side um, and hearing their story. So um, even if you had kind of already chosen sides um, previously in the dream with Gaia, um, this is kind of to convince you of the other other side story, and then you can kind of um, choose who to side with from there. So to continue with the quest, um, I will agree to help him. And so he gives us a key to um, to the sanctuary where Gaia is, and he keeps her locked in there because he's afraid that she'll escape and come out into the cove and kill him and uh, his bandits. So here we can get a little bit more um, uh, knowledge about what the island is um, and how to get off of it. Um, I allow this option that players, um, for any reason, need to go back to Skyrim, can go back to Skyrim by using uh, the docks that I showed earlier with the boat. Um, there is an NPC there that they can talk to to go back to Skyrim. Um, in addition, this is the where you continue the side quest. So you talk to Dawn about Scarlet, and he informs you that she's kind of a mercenary um, that he has hired to protect his settlement from Spriggans and Imperials and, and anybody that would attack. However, she's kind of an alcoholic, and she likes to play things safe. So she's not getting paid enough money to take care of um, Gaia herself, so you kind of have to go and talk to her and see what she can do to help you. So uh, I don't have any questions, so I'm going to go ahead and continue on with the quest. All right. So before we head into the forest and go to the Bootleg Bandit Distillery, um, I'm going to go talk to Scarlet, who's located in the pub right now. The reason for uh, talking to Scarlet is I've kind of already decided that I'm going to side with the bandits and get that really nice reward that Don Guillermo was talking about. So in order to help me out, um, I want to ask Scarlet uh, how she handles these brigands so easily. And so she kind of brags that she has this really awesome axe um, that does you know, a lot of damage to Spriggans and makes it really easy to kill them. Um, however, she doesn't offer to help you out, and she doesn't offer to give you the axe or anything. So uh, the purpose with Scarlet's quest is I want to give the player a lot of agency during this quest and handle it how they 
see fit. So at any time, the player can just kill Scarlet and loot her body for the axe. They fail the quest, um, but at least they get the axe. Or the player can continue on with the quest and kind of complete uh, some of the tasks that she asks you um, in order for her to lend you the axe to help the Scorpions. And so that's what I'm going to do. So she asks me to find her some Blackbriar Reserve because she is tired of drinking the regular mead around um, the Bootleg Bandit Distillery. So in my inventory, I already have um, enough Blackbriar Reserve for the quest. Um, however, the player can um, search around uh, all the Bootleg Bandit Cove for Blackbriar Reserves. There's more than enough to complete the quest. Um, and as you can see, there's one right here in the pub. Um, it just um, requires a player to do a little bit of uh, exploring, which is something that I try to encourage uh, the player to do during uh, this quest. So, um, once we find all the items, we can return to Scarlet and tell her that I found all the Blackbriar Reserve. And, um, She's really happy to receive that, and then she lets you borrow her axe, which is very important um, because um, she expects the axe to be returned to her once I'm finished using it um, against Gaia and the other Spriggans. So as you can see, if we go into our inventory, we now have the Spriggan Bane that deals bonus damage to Spriggans. So go ahead and equip that and make our life a little bit easier. What do you want? And now we will finally head off into the forest, which is the area that we need to go to get to the Bootleg Bandit Distillery. So the forest is a little transitional area. Um, the player um, enters in order to get to the Bootleg Bandit Distillery, which is a cave. Um, I set up a little ambush encounter with wolves here to kind of break up the uh, monotony of walking around. So the player gets a little bit of action um, fighting a pack of wolves on their way to the distillery. So we finally got here. We just discovered the Bootleg Bandit Distillery, and it's a cave. Not a typical um, distillery because it's located in a cave, but because these are bandits and this is a secret kind of operation, um, this is where they kind of conceal everything. So this is a little storeroom. Again, there's another Blackbriar Reserve, so the player does a little exploration before they talk to Scarlet or Don Guillermo. They can pick that up. And here's the distill room. So there are a couple of bandits that are you know, keeping guard, um, taking care of the stills. Um, there's another bandit who's preparing the skooma shine. So I set up this area to kind of tell the story that this is what the bandits um, are doing. This is what they're up to. Um, you know, obviously they've got stacks of wood to keep the stills um, up and running and heated. So here's the gate that I was talking about earlier. Um, I gate this area so the player doesn't get in. Um, if they do a little bit of exploring before talking to Don Guillermo, they don't go into the cave and talk to Gaia before um, before talking to the Don Guillermo because. Um, I wanted the player to be able to talk to Don Guillermo and hear his side of the story before um, attempting to talk to Gaia. So I walk down here, and this is a familiar place. Um, this is where we met Gaia initially, and this is also where um, a dream was. So this is her sanctuary, and as you can see, it's really odd that she has this lush green... Um, trees growing everywhere and flowers in an area that is filled with ice and snow. So I like this juxtaposition between the ice and um, the ice and foliage. And the reason why this is so green is because Gaia uses her powers to kind of make this area fertile for her and her kin to lay uh, live. Um, you know, because brigands aren't necessarily. Um, akin to going into icy areas. So we're going to talk to Gaia and then this is the area, this is the time where we uh, finally get to make the choice that matters. 
So during this dialogue, we can choose to either side with Don Guillermo and kill the uh, brigands, or we can choose to side with Gaia and kill the bootleg bandits. Um, we can also get a little bit of information what this place is, and um, again, ask her um, what kind of motivation um, I have to help her. Um, but for this video, we're just going to go ahead and kill her. So the Spriggan Bane makes that fight a lot easier. Um, it was a difficult thing for me to balance in this fight uh, because the Spriggans are very, very powerful enemies. And when they ambush the player, um, they would kill him very, very quickly. So um, I made this option um, for the player to have an easier time killing these Spriggans so they aren't um, killed immediately. And this was just to balance low-level characters who are having a really, really hard time with my quest. Uh, because brigands are tough enemies. So once you talk to Gaia, there's a big ambush. Uh, she ambushes you, and then other two other brigands uh, spawn on the ledge to attack you as well. In addition, there are more brigands that spawn in um, the distillery area, and kind of the bandits and the brigands in that area fight each other um, while you fight Gaia. So we'll enter into this combat and try to help out these bandits, but it doesn't look like they made it. Um, let's see where they are. Oh, there's a Spriggan that died. Oh, one left. Um, so the way that I set this up is I didn't script the um, bandits to die or anything like that. I just spawned in a couple Spriggans and let the bandits and the spriggans have their own battle while you're fighting below. Um, and this helps, um, in, this, in this video we saw that one of the spriggans had, um, was killed and the bandits actually managed to kill them, um, but that's not always the case. Sometimes both spriggans uh, survive killing all the bandits and you um, have to fight them as you backtrack your way out of the cave. And so We've effectively completed the quest. Um, all we have to do is go back to Don Guillermo and talk to him and claim our reward. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Okay. All right, Don. I'm here Got for my award. Yes. Yep, go Gaia. So, kind of rudely shoves me off. Um, however, he does um, uphold his promise and he does give me um, an award. So, there's a thousand gold and three refined skooma shine. Now, as we complete the quest for bootleg bandits, I'll kind of show you in the quest log. Um, as we complete that, it has also updated. These um, side quests, Scarlet the Spriggan Slayer, where it informs us that we need to return the axe to Scarlet. Um, and then this is another moment where um, I let the player kind of choose how they want to approach this. And there are kind of there are three options. The player can return to Scarlet and kill her with her own axe um, and take it for themselves, or they can return the axe to her and kind of complete the quest and she gives the player um, kind of a teaser and a promise that um, she'll have more quests and opportunity for um, the player to kind of uh, roll with her game for a little while. The third option is that the player can kind of ignore this quest outright and never return to Scarlet or see her ever again and just um, keep the axe that way without having to kill her or interact with her. So the last thing that I want to show you guys is um, the award that I give the player. Um, the quest is kind of designed around Skooma Shine, which is um, the drink um, that the player drinks at the beginning of the um, quest. However, they don't really see it or interact with it throughout the quest, um, just because it is a special drink. Um, however, I do give it as a reward, this refined Skooma Shine at the end, as a funny little moment um, for the player. So as they drink it, um, they kind of get they get teleported to Whiterun and they wake up in Whiterun with all their clothes removed 
and a thousand gold bounty on their head. So, so this card has told me that I have a bounty of a thousand gold, which is the reward that I got from Don Guillermo. Um, I can choose to fight these guys or fight them um, or whatever. And this is kind of a funny moment because you um, allow the player to kind of fill in the gaps. What happened between drinking the Skuma Shine and how they ended up in White Run with a thousand bounty on their head, um, since they drink some kind of um, alcoholic mixed drink with Skuma in it. So, um, with that, that's the conclusion of my quest, and I hope you guys enjoyed it, and um, I will see you later.